Hello everyone, Michael here playing Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Today I'm going to be playing through case number two, Turnabout Airlines. Two days earlier, Edgeworth is passed out near a pool of blood. Oh wait, it's not blood, it's wine. Well, that explains why he's passed out. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Edgeworth isn't drunk. He um, just passed out because there was turbulence on the airplane. Yes, that's right. If you've played the first Phoenix Wright game, you know that Edgeworth has a big problem with earthquakes. And this time, I think there really is blood. Somebody has just been killed. Edgeworth wakes up groaning and with a horrible, horrible headache. I don't know, maybe he did have too much to drink. Then again, you don't see attorneys getting drunk. Well, except for Hobo Phoenix in Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, but that doesn't count. Edgeworth is much too dignified to, you know, get drunk and pass out. Instead, he just collapsed because of the earthquake. What's this? He has a wallet that doesn't belong to him? How did that happen? Edgeworth had a traumatic experience inside an elevator during an earthquake when he was a child. So that's why he's kind of freaking out about the earthquake-like turbulence and the elevator. But don't worry, Edgeworth, there's no need to be afraid. I'm sure there's nothing bad inside the elevator. Ah, it's a dead body! Forget what I just said, Edgeworth. There is something very bad inside the elevator. Uh-oh, and here's a flight attendant appearing on the scene at the worst possible time. Naturally, she jumps to the conclusion that Mr. Edgeworth is the killer, and he is promptly arrested. This is certainly bad news for our hero, No need to feel threatened. They have already arrested the culprit. But wait a minute. He's not the culprit. He's Mr. Edgeworth. (laughs) 
Now you listen here. I am not the killer. Incriminating evidence, huh? That doesn't sound very good. Okay, I think we need to figure out how we can prove ourselves innocent. Let's get some testimony from the flight attendant. Because surely she's mistaken about Edgeworth being the killer. Okay. Okay, so this is a pretty easy testimony to cross-examine. Let me show you what we have in the organizer so far. We have the travel wallet, crime scene notes, this is what the crime scene looks like, and we have a magazine. Okay. Go to the statement about Mr. Edgeworth having the murder weapon and present the travel wallet. Uh-huh. It was the travel wallet. It wasn't the murder weapon. Uh-huh. Stained with wine. I mean grape juice! Yes, not wine, grape juice. We have to keep this G-rated after all. Unfortunately, Miss Tenero is not convinced. We're going to have to investigate this wallet using scientific investigation. <laughs> <laughs> 